So I wanted to cover a topic and a question about is Zabbix appliance ready for the production use? Like, can you use it in a production or is it just for the testing or whatever? And I'm going to answer this question like I'm not saying that I'm 100% right, but uh, I will just give you my take on this. But uh, before we talk about my opinion, Let's try to understand what a Zabbix appliance is. Uh, first of all, like you should already know, I hope that there are multiple ways how you can get Zabbix up and running. Uh, still, even nowadays, I guess the most common option for Zabbix installation, I guess, is the Zabbix packages. Uh, if you're using the cloud like AWS, Azure, whatever, you can, first of all, you can deploy the Zabbix on a virtual machine using the same Zabbix packages, or you can just go to the cloud uh, provider market place and you will find the same Zabbix image which you can deploy with one click but then you will have to pay for hourly usage of the Zabbix monitoring software. Um, containers of course docker like everything can be done with just basically one command. Zabbix sources if you want to compile from sources agents well a different story and then we have an appliance and uh, what it is well basically is just a virtual image of the Zabbix which is already installed on uh, Alma Linux 8 right now this may change um, my SQL as a backend so ISO image of Alma Linux 8 with the Zabbix already installed configured working so you don't need to do an installation process you just pick the platform which you need um, just installation CD KVM Hyper-V uh, OVF uh, raw image or, or the VMware the one which fits you and then you install the virtual machine which has a Zabbix on it but uh, there's also documentation like uh, documentation of what exactly you need to do because still you need to install like the operating system together with the Zabbix. It still requires some effort like it's not something complicated but will take a couple of minutes of time nevertheless. Um, repositories that you can change and, and all the stuff like the front end access, how to restart somewhere here. Yeah, here we have like credentials to the system. So over SSH is the root Zabbix to this front end. It's admin Zabbix to the database uh, like this. Uh, you can find the uh, uh, password in the root.my.cnf uh, file. So everything here is good. But before I've actually like I've worked with Zabbix seven years, I guess a bit more than seven years now, I haven't installed appliance even once. So before trying to answer the question of uh, can you use Zabbix appliance in the production use, I really struggle to understand myself, why would you even want to install the Zabbix appliance for any use? Like if you want to do the testing, whatever let's say you don't have any experience with the Zabbix, uh, let's say you are deploying it for the first time, I think there will be more steps for the installation with appliance than it is with uh, packages. Because with the packages, as you can see, you just pick up uh, which uh, distribution you have, what version of the Zabbix you need, and then there's how many, like one, two, three, four, I don't know, 15, 20 commands maybe, but in a nutshell, like these are all in a database. This is one big line to install the packages, update repository, update the config files, and that's it. So if you have a good internet connection, not like me, then you can get your Zabbix up and running within like five minutes, maybe 10, if you're a slow typer and you don't know how to copy paste and you don't know uh, what's the location of the config files, you don't even actually need to location of the config files because it's already here. So you can get a Zabbix up and running within, let's say, 10 minutes. And in this case, if you do this installation, you know everything what is required for installation. Like, let's say if after 10 days of the usage, someone says, hey, you need to update your Zabbix uh, server configuration file, you already know where it's located because during the installation process, there was a step D saying configure the database for the Zabbix server, which requires you to edit the file at czabbixzabbixserver.conf and change the DB password, right? And even if you don't want to use the packages, there's the cloud images. Okay, this, this will cost you some money. Maybe you don't want to do that. Then containers, like you can deploy Zabbix container with a Docker Compose, as example, with just one command. 
one single command docker compose minus f compose file uh, up minus d and you have zabbix up and running you can test it destroy the containers delete the system whatever forget about it appliance I don't know why do you want to use it but okay let's say there is some very important reason why you want to try this abix appliance and you don't want to um install it through the packages marketplace docker whatever so i've since since i've been around this abix which is as i said like a bit more than 70 years this question is always around and i'm sure that this video is going to do well in in a google search traffic because I'm 100% know that this is questioned a lot. Is Zabbix appliance good for the production? So what's funny that even in the Zabbix.com official download appliance page, there is a text saying the appliance is not intended for the serious production use, which I find it very funny. Like why? And what exactly does mean serious production use? Is it ready for not serious production use? And what does that even mean? Because essentially there is just one release of the Zabbix, right? There's no enterprise version. There's no community edition, no whatever limited functionality, no free or, or paid, whatever. There's just one Zabbix. And whenever you install it, no matter if you do it through the packages no matter if you do it through the cloud images containers or if you download appliance it is still the same zabbix you will still get the same functionality the only thing that differs is that okay it's called the appliance it's just the virtual image with the operating itself yes eventually eventually you might run out of the disk space on appliance you can resize it it's not a whatever you can do that just resize and continue to use it in the production so getting closer like to the answer do i personally think that appliance is good choice for the production use no but is it because some limited functionality or some things that you cannot do on the appliance that you normally could do through the installation of the packages no as well i just think that whenever you are just starting out or let's say you're already like familiar with a zabbix you will get more initial knowledge about what is required for the Zabbix to run, like the fact that you need to create a database, import the schema data, uh, you need to configure the front end, fill in all the parameters in, in, in the config files, you will know that. If you're using appliance, you have no understanding about it, which I think is the only downside of using the appliance. But again, personally, I don't see any reason why would you want to use the appliance. If you want to test out the Zabbix, use the packages or the cloud images or the Docker. It's going to take you less time, going to cause you less problems, and you will have absolutely same functionality as in the appliance. If you think that it's like very complicated to install it, well, think again. Like I showed previously, like let's say CentOS 9 Stream server front and agent with apache there we go just copy paste these lines that's it you don't need to do anything extra these like 10 15 maybe 20 lines if you're still feeling lost like searching a google install zabbix 6.4 you'll find my video where we talk about um all the details of how to do that and uh yeah also if you did not know i've started a new youtube channel a couple of actually one month ago uh, about all the tech stuff home lab nas automation uh, whatever else interesting about the tech which is not related to the monitoring or the zabbix at least for now subscribe i will post the link in the description and somewhere also at the end of this video so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later